Welcome. This is Father Joe Cicetti. Thank you for joining me again. We have been looking at some art from faraway places. Today I'd like to look at some art a little bit closer to home. Actually, a lot closer to home. Let's take a look at the crucifix in our church. Now, first of all, uh, you may or may not know this, but outside the school, there is a statue of Jesus and the children. Well, it's the same Jesus that's there with the children that's on the cross, and it's done by the same artist. And our crucifix is the only piece of art in the church that was originally made for our church. So it's something very unique to our parish. And as usual, just stop and look a little bit. Stop and look, observe what you see, ponder it, may even get to the point where you pray with your eyes. We talked about doing Lexio, prayerfully reading the Word of God. Well, sometimes we can prayerfully read with our eyes. When I look at that crucifix, to me what the two important things are, the hands and the face. In Gethsemane, Jesus prayed, not my will, but yours be done. And I don't know if it was intentional on the part of the artist or not, but look at the hands. Jesus' left hand is clenched in a fist. His right hand is open. It's as if he's saying, not my will, but yours be done. And then look at the direction of his face. He's looking up. He's looking up towards heaven, and he is looking in the same direction, not as the clenched fist, but in the same direction as the open hand. Not my will, but yours be done. We pray something similar Every time we pray the Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Like Jesus, even in times of pandemic, may we always say, may we always pray, not my will, but yours be done.